Yo, what's up out there? You know, it's gonna be another round of video card action today here on motherboards.org. Yo, Adrian, where are you when I need you? Today, we're gonna take a look at the 7850. That's right, the Sapphire. HD 7850. Now this here, this here cards the overclock edition because we do shit hard around here at motherboards.org. So without much further ado, let's jump in and let's check out this fine card. Before we jump into the features, let's just take a look at the outside of the card. You guys can see that they have their own proprietary little plastic sheath on the outside. They have their cooling fans, and even though the cooling is not their Vaporex cooling, take a look at the heat pipes and all the heat fins that are built into this card, and you can see that this has to be something very similar to that technology. That is what keeps this card running really cool. Now, all of these new cards are built in the new 28 nanometer process. That is the big thing about these cards, and beating NVIDIA to market was the big hoopla about this entire launch. Now, this card is overclocked, but it also has 1024 stream processors, 64 texture units, and 32 ROPs. The core clock is 920 megahertz. The reference is 860. The memory clock, the reference is 1200, and this card is clocked at 1250 megahertz. One of the big things I like about this card, though, is the 256-bit memory interface. This is going to help a lot when you're using high resolutions and when you're using dual display monitors. Also, it's going to help with iFinity technology is the 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. This is also going to help in games like Battlefield 3, where you'll have more memory to address and be able to get all those nice features out onto your screen. Now, this card also has 160 gigabytes of memory bandwidth. The reference card has 153.6. The card also does not take very much power at all. There's only a single six pin power connector located in the side of the card, which you can see right here. And that equates to 130 watts maximum TDP. Not very much at all there. Now the card does still have a blue PCB in the back. I like this, some people don't. I guess it's just a matter of preference. Now, before we jump out of this card, let's take a look finally at the rear IO where we can see it's just like all the other AMD cards with two main display ports, an HDMI port, and a dual link DVI. That said, let's now jump into the benchmarks where it's time to rock out with your socks out. Oh, the song's over. Oh well. I was still listening to it. You guys know how it is. Anyways, this card, this is a pretty cool card. Now, first off the bat, let's talk about the price. This card's gonna come to market at about $250 for the reference card and probably $20 to $30 more for the non-reference based cards like the one we looked at today. Now, the Sapphire HD 7850 is a really very quietly running card. All this new 28 nanometer process stuff is allowing the card to run really cool without a bunch of noise and to maintain really cool temperatures throughout everything. Additionally, for the price being at around $250, that means you're gonna be able to jump into a set of Crossfire cards, which means another video, for around $500. That's something I'm really looking forward to. But right now, for $250, the new card that they've released from these guys at Sapphire is a really good deal. It competes very good against the GTX cards of the same caliber and price, but what I like best about this card really is the coolness and quietest. These 78 series cards in my book are some of the coolest and quietest running cards I've yet to see on the market. And so for that, I give this card a hot product award here on motherboards.org.